Hey guys, it's the White Phoenix here, and it's that time of year again. It's December, the year is almost at an end, and you know what that means. It's time for the illustrious Game of the Year Award from yours truly. That one game that has stood out among many others, that has shined like a diamond in all the roof, and there's been many, many good games that I have actually played this year. Now the rule with this is, it doesn't necessarily have to be a game from this year, it's a game that I've discovered this year, or rediscovered, and that I have thoroughly enjoyed it throughout. And, to be honest, while I've played quite a lot of games this year, there's only one to me that's really become worthy of that award. And this game, every time I play it, I never get sick of it. It's different enough, it's out there enough to stand on its own, and as a plus point, it's indie developed as well. That's always a plus point. I shy away from the AAA stuff because I don't really like where the game industry is lately, but indie developers should be supported. And that is one other reason why I'm throwing my blessing behind what has been such a wonderful experience of a game. So... I proudly present the White Phoenix Game of the Year 2017 award to Code Drone in the Danger Zone. I have loved the idea of this game ever since I first watched it myself on YouTube. The minute I saw it in action, I had to go and get it for myself. It's just this wonderful arena battle which throws so much stuff into the mix. You've got wide variety of enemy types to deal with, you've got the environments themselves that actively try to kill you, and even better than that, you've got the whole stream integration thing going on, which just elevates it. It's a good enough game on its own, running in there, trying to survive as long as you can, or going through the story mode, but the addition of that Twitch integration just makes it so much special. The fact that people watching can just help or hinder you. They can play along with you. That's just so absolutely fantastic. And I'm so happy to see something like this in a game. For me personally, as a streamer, that is one of the best ways to stream a game, I feel. And Clodo just does it absolutely perfectly. I love the graphical style, the whole voxel thing going on. I'd love to see the bits of the robots break off as you hit them in different parts. Um, the variety of skills and weapons you can do is uses very awesome. You've got your sword, your bow, your hammer. You can you can go whichever path you want. You're free to choose how you approach it. You could go just so, go in sword wing, choose to whack everything with a hammer or boost around a jetpack. It's entirely up to you how you try and approach the game, and it's just so lovely, open, and well balanced. I just can't say enough good things about this game. It's on my favourite list on Steam now, and it's going to blooming well stay there. It just keeps getting better over time. They're going to add multiplayer in at some point. That's next on the agenda for developers, so... This game going into 2018 is just going to get better and better. I'm going to be playing it often throughout next year. It's become a game I love to go back to. And if you haven't picked this up already, I highly recommend it. There's true love, true craftsmanship, and all that good stuff that's just got into it. The developers deserve success for making such a wonderful little gem. And is it a gem? It's a bit of a hidden gem, this one. It's not, like, that well-known, as well as some AAA games might be. This is... Better than a lot of triple A games I've played lately. And if you have not got this game yet and you like what you see, you've liked me when you see me play it, it's even more fun when you're playing it yourself. Just trust me on that. Go and get it now if it looks like your cup of tea. Claude Drone in a Danger Zone gets my two thumbs up on this year's Game of the Year Award. So I'll have to wait and see what comes in 2018. It there's quite a few games coming up that I'll be interested in playing, but who knows? I mean, Clojo was something that came out of left field, never saw it coming, so it could be something like that again. But we'll have to wait and see how that goes. That's it for the Game of the Year 2017. I hope you guys enjoyed that. 
Cheers very much for watching. Keep your fire burning! And I will see you guys next time.